Welcome to this tutorial on using the Register Partial Payment feature in Odoo for customer invoices. In this video, we will go through a detailed explanation of how to register a partial payment, configure the required fields, and manage the remaining balance effectively. Let's dive in. To begin, open the accounting app. Next, navigate to the customer's menu and select invoices. Apply the filters posted and unpaid to locate invoices that are currently payable. From the filtered list, choose any invoice to proceed. Click the register payment button on the customer invoice. A pop-up modal will appear, prompting you to enter the payment details. Here's what you need to do. Journal. The first field you'll encounter is the journal. This is where you select the journal to which the payment will be registered. Journals could represent cash, bank accounts, or other payment records. Choose the journal that matches the payment type you're processing. Selecting a payment method. Next, you'll need to choose a payment method. Odoo provides three main options. Manual. Use this for payments made outside of Odoo, such as cash, checks, or bank transfers. Batch deposit. If you're depositing multiple customer checks together, this option streamlines the process by creating a batch deposit to submit to your bank. SEPA direct deposit. For customers in the SEPA region, this allows creditors to collect funds directly from the customer's bank account. A signed mandate must be in place for this option. Recipient bank account. This field can be a bit confusing, as the label might suggest it refers to your bank account. Instead, it represents the customer's account that funds will be drawn from. This field is optional but useful for tracking payment sources. Setting the amount and currency. By default, the amount is set to the full invoice total. However, for partial payments, adjust this field to reflect the exact amount being paid. For example, if an invoice has a total of $1,000, this field will automatically be set to $1,000. However, if the customer is making a partial payment, you can adjust the field to reflect the amount being paid. Let's say the customer is paying $400 towards the invoice. In this case, you would update the amount field to $400. Similarly, if the invoice total is 750 euros and the customer is paying 250 euros as a partial payment, you would adjust the amount to 250 euros. The currency will auto-populate based on the company's default settings, but can be changed if needed. Payment date. The payment date specifies when the payment was made. Ensure this field is accurate for proper tracking and reconciliation. Adding a memo. The memo field is typically pre-filled with the invoice number. You can leave it as is or customize it for additional clarity. For example, you might use the memo to record the check number or other payment details. Handling payment differences. When registering a partial payment in Odoo, the system automatically identifies the balance still due and prompts you to decide how to handle it. Here are your two options. Keep open and mark invoice as fully paid. Let talk about keep open option. Choose this option if you anticipate the customer will pay the remaining balance at a later date. The invoice will remain in an open state until the full payment is received. Example. Let's say a customer has an invoice total of $1,000, but is only able to pay $600 at the moment. You record the $600 payment and select the Keep Open option. This keeps the invoice open with the remaining balance of $400. Later, when the customer is ready to pay the $400, you can register the payment to fully settle the invoice. The second option is Mark Invoice as Fully Paid. Select this option if you want to consider the invoice settled even though the full amount hasn't been paid. This typically happens when the remaining balance is negligible or when the difference needs to be written off for accounting purposes. Example, suppose an invoice is for $1,000, but the customer pays $990. The remaining balance of $10 is too small to pursue. You record the $990 payment and select Mark Invoice as Fully Paid, in doing so, you write off the $10 balance to a specific account, such as small balances write-off, and add a label like rounding adjustment to explain the write-off. By using these options, Odoo ensures your accounting records remain accurate while offering flexibility in managing customer payments. After filling in all the required fields and deciding on the payment difference handling, click on the Create Payment button. Odoo will register the payment and update the invoice status accordingly. After validating the payment, a partial banner will appear on the invoice. 
You'll also notice that the register payment option remains available. This allows you to add another payment, whether it's a full or partial amount. The amount due at the bottom of the invoice will be updated and the payment will be recorded along with the date. To view payment details, click the small info button next to the payment line. For additional information, select view. If you need to remove the payment from the invoice, click the unreconciled button. Conclusion. This process allows you to handle partial payments efficiently in Odoo, ensuring accurate financial records and clear communication with customers. Whether it's recording the amount, setting the payment date, or managing the remaining balance, Odoo provides the flexibility you need to manage partial payments seamlessly. I hope you all have a clear understanding of the concepts covered in this video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment below. For more support, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on my latest releases.